Hey guys, this is Jason with Fat Fender Garage and we're here in Gilbert, Arizona, our new facility. We're still excited about it. Still got a lot of finalizing everything, but uh, we're, we're happy to be here. So we've got this 1967 to 72, I think it's a 1971 to be exact, Ford F100 pickup. And we've been working through a lot of like new little parts that we've been coming out with as we've been working on these bump sides. And as we were building our trucks, we run into these issues that we come up with with the factory OEM parts. So well, it was great back then, but in today's standards, it might not meet the same standards that we're looking for in a quality build, ease of use, and just uh, overall performance of the product. And so we're going to talk about some products related to the steering column and some cool things that we've come up with. So one of the things that we struggle with is getting a nice steering column that we like. So we like to use Flaming River for a lot of different reasons. I made in the United States. I like the way the cone is, I like the shortness of it. I like to create like more distance between my chest and the steering wheel. Uh, you don't want to drive like this, right? Super close. And so we're always looking for ways to like push things away. And the way the Flaming River is designed, it has a really short cone from where the steering wheel mounts to the bottom of the cone is only seven inches which is two inches shorter than an I did it. So that allows us to push it two inches further away to create more space. So that's one of the reasons why we go with that steering column on all our Fords and all of our Chevys is to provide space. We also like it because we can get the steering column without the indicator on top of it. And so we get the indicator removed because we don't need it because that's redundant when we're using Dakota digital gauges. And so we're gonna take a look at the steering column. You're gonna see that the column shift doesn't have an indicator on it because when you use Dakota Digital gauges, it's on that. And it's hard to align the gauges and then you got the indicator on the column. It's hard to align that, that bar that would go down to your transmission and have everything work together. So we just decided omit that, make it nice and clean, smoother. You look right through, you see the gauges and it's a much more attractive look. Well, the next thing we've done is we've actually installed a bracket that we've made, welded it to the Flaming River column so it's a perfect fit. So for 6772, the steering column has a bracket ready to go. It's the right length. It's gonna give you the extra space you need. Then the next thing is, what about a steering wheel? And so we want you to come check out the steering wheel and take a look at it. So this is a product by Spark Industries and they have about 20 different steering wheels you can purchase. And if you kind of notice how it just kind of fits real nicely, um, it's perfect for wrapping in leather, whether you want to get it wrapped in black leather or a uh, color of your choice, this works perfectly. And so we have these columns and combinations of steering wheels that we like to use that make your truck really look good. They've got some very affordable ones that they produce a lot. You can get something for like 600 bucks and it looks nice and clean with all, all those extra adapters. So super cool. Well, another part of the process of doing a steering column on these 6772s is the bottom of a column is all exposed. So in 7379, they covered it up. But in 6772, the bottom of the column is exposed and it doesn't look very good. So we actually made a column bracket, uh, and you can kind of take a look at this here, that you'll just put some screws here and you'll screw it up into the bottom of the bracket. And you can see we got one installed right there. And so when you want to clean it up and you want it, maybe you'll have that painted the same color as your interior, or maybe it's black, but either way, you want a nice clean look. This cleans up the bottom of your column. And so it looks really, really attractive. And then coming out, we actually have a really nice AC valance that has a notch built into it to allow this to fit and come with a nice, clean, streamlined look. That's probably coming out in about 30 days, but we want to get this done first. All these tiny little details that make it easy. Well, the other part of it is when you're installing your steering column, is what's it like on the firewall? How's it gonna fit? And if you remember the old one, it's a piece of metal, there's this, this rubber bumper, there's this gasket. Usually it's all worn out, it do, doesn't look very good, and it doesn't hold your column very easily. So we're gonna go walk around. I'm gonna show you what we came up with. It's super cool. Oh, not to mention, check out this little interior. This is part of our interior kits. We did a video on this, and this is actually my truck but you can kind of see the uh, little interior kits that you can actually just order up online too. Keep it simple, get some products in, bolt it in, do it yourself at home, and uh, these products will help make that easy. All right, so check this out right here. So this is an adapter that we've made that fits in the hardware. 
that we supply, and this is kind of our prototype bracket. We threw it on real quick so we could show you. So you're gonna get button head bolts. We just use some hex heads here real quick, but some button head bolts that will allow you to attach that. So this is what this looks like. So this is a firewall side. You can buy this in black, or you can buy it in just machined. And if you wanna paint this the color of your firewall, then you're just gonna sand it up, prime it, and paint it. If you want it black, uh, which is probably what we're gonna end up doing on here, is we're gonna end up doing black on this. That has a little bit more of a factory look, and also it holds the steering column you know, nice and sturdy, and we only want it coming out just a little bit. If I come out too far, more factory, I'm gonna be in the way of the Coyote motor, the heads and all that stuff, so I really need it up tight. And so this allows us to put it just coming through just a little bit here, and then we've got a straight shot right here for the universal joints. On the inside is this. So if you take a look at it, it's got an angle for that shaft to fit perfectly right through here, and then you've got a set screw that will actually pin it, and that's why it's so rigid, is it's got this little set screw right here that pins it, and then these line up with uh, the mounts on the firewall. Now, it took us a little bit of work to figure this out, because on 6772 columns, they don't come straight down, because if they actually came straight through, they'd end up right here. And that's not gonna be very conducive for you know, uh, connecting all this stuff up. So Ford, when they built these trucks, they actually got the columns going at a slight angle to make sure they could come out right here and still get to the box. Or in our case, it's very helpful getting to the power steering rack. Several cool products we've talked about in the video. We've talked about a steering column, steering wheels. We've talked about the undermount steering cover. And then we've talked about these really cool parts that help install all this. So this is available on our website. You can purchase all this stuff ready to go. Uh, you can purchase it as one big kit, or you can just pot, buy them individually if you just need them to work. Now, this kit here only works with a two inch column. So if you have a two and a quarter, something a little bit bigger, this won't work for you. These are designed to work with more of a factory column, or which is two inch, or a uh, flaming river column. So if you got an idea and it's a little bit bigger, this won't work for you. Wanna make sure you understand that. Very cool product. Uh, we've got a bunch more coming out on the bump side, the dent side, 53, 56, and don't worry, the fridge trucks and the slick trucks, we actually have some product we're working on uh, that stuff for you guys too. So we really plan to keep expanding and working and putting all these little details to make really your job doing the build in your own garage as easy as we can make it. Because oftentimes, as I found early on in hot rodding, is, well, what do I need? What should I purchase? What, what's gonna work the very best? Oftentimes, um, spending the extra $50 for convenience and ease uh, really made the project go together a lot better than trying to kind of buy all these parts and try to make it work. And I wasn't even sure if they were the right parts when I was buying them. Uh, now we've just said, the right parts don't exist. We need to make something super easy for us uh, to use here in our shop. And so we use these. These are products that we use in our shop every day. They work for us. Uh, we don't use them in all the super like, you know, half a million plus builds. We might be doing something a little bit different to clean it up. But on all of our simple builds that we do, we 100% use these because we like to keep it simple for us. So go to the website, fatfender.com, check it all out. Uh, we always like to share this product on our Instagram as well, um, our Facebook page. Uh, we try to introduce all these products there. Maybe you're following us there and uh, that's where you're seeing it. Um, but uh, st stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe. We're always going to have new products coming out and happy hot rotting. We'll see you guys later and uh, take care.